Hi, my name is Oiza Momo and I'm a clinical data manager at GSK. I studied neuroscience at the University of Glasgow where I obtained my integrated masters. And I've been in the industry for two and a bit years. In my current role as a clinical data manager, I'm working on a few different studies. So you'd first of all see variety. Um, one of those studies is an early phase study in immunoinflammation and the other study is in COVID-19 actually. So very timely, very um, a hot topic at the moment. In terms of my day-to-day, -day, I do a lot of different activities. One moment it could be data review, for example, identifying trends and patterns, working with lots of different people and talking to lots of different people um, about any issues that we're seeing in the data. Another moment it could be managing a team of data processors. So I work with a very large team who do lots of data entry and data validation, so it could be managing them. Other aspects of my day-to-day -day could also be documentation and um, of course clinical trials are very regulated, so there's lots of documentation and document review, which don't sound that exciting but actually it's all very important at the end of the day. And I spend a lot of my time in meetings actually, so whether that's meetings with doctors and nurses, at our investigator sites or whether it's clinicians and clinical scientists and research scientists or it could be statisticians, programmers etc. I'm working with lots of different people and meeting with lots of different people day to day. So one example of um, what I do day to day in some of my meetings is data review. Sometimes I can um, spend some time reviewing data from multiple different sites because on our clinical trials we tend to work globally and so I can collect all of that data through various systems and tools and then use those systems to monitor any trends that I'm seeing. And today actually is a really good example of where we saw some signals and trends in different um, potential issues on a clinical trial. We met with CRAs, who are clinical research um, associates, and also country study managers across the world to discuss those trends that I'd spotted during the data review, and then understand, so really investigate what those issues were and why they were happening. Some were happening globally, and then some were very um, country specific, and some were actually on the site level, so the individual hospital or clinical unit level and that's a really valuable contribution I think to a clinical trial because it means that you're ensuring that the data is of high quality and of high integrity when you then go to report it to regulatory authorities and eventually when hopefully medicines make it to the market and um, the data behind that was was definitely of high quality. how I came to become a clinical data manager at GSK. Well, like you said, I studied neuroscience at the University of Glasgow. And while I was studying that degree, there's a good mix of lab-based investigation and also lots of different clinical neuroscience aspects as well. And I realized I was definitely more keen on the clinical aspects than the lab-based preclinical work. So that's just my personal preference. Um, while I was at university, I got involved in systematic reviews with the Cochrane group um, who do systematic reviews and also some local hospitals in Glasgow. And we were looking at clinical trial data actually and basically aggregating all of that and analysing it to um, understand risk around various psychiatric factors in stroke. During that, I realised that clinical trials are actually incredibly important um, I'm sure people are more and more aware of that now with the pandemic and things that are going on in the world but at that time a fair few years ago I didn't know much about clinical development at all 
So that's why I went to GSK to do my industrial placement in my fourth year of study at the University of Glasgow. <clears throat> and during my placement, I was an Associate Global Clinical Development Manager. So that's a very long title that essentially means I was accountable for the study delivery of clinical trials globally and um, from phase one to phase four. And that was a really amazing opportunity for me, a good 12 months where I really got to understand clinical trials, the processes um, that underpin them and the way that people work. And also just the variety of roles that there are in clinical trials and clinical development as a whole. So I really enjoyed my placement year, I learned loads, and then I went back to university to finish off my master's. While I was doing that, um, I wrote a couple of dissertations, painfully, about optimization and acceleration of clinical trial development and some of the challenges and barriers that we see in um, challenging populations. So that was another really exciting and interesting piece of work that made me continue to think about clinical trials and clinical development. And then obviously I came to graduating and um, as we all do, I was wondering what it was exactly that I would go on to do next. And I was offered a position at GSK in clinical operations. And at that point I was deciding between going back to study management, which is what I did on placement, and then a new functional area for me, which was data management which is obviously where I am now. I chose data management because I was really interested in the technical aspects of clinical trials. And I thought there's loads of evolution going on at the moment in data management. We're really modernizing the way that we work and we are um, optimizing the tools that we use and making things a lot more patient friendly, but also user friendly. So essentially digitizing and um, accelerating things through those exciting systems. So basically I thought it was a really great time to join a data management organization. And I thought GSK would be a great one to um, come back to because of all the brilliant experiences I had on my industrial placement. It also allows me to do all of the other things that I'm really involved in and really keen on doing like STEM and clinical trial diversity. So there is scope to do lots at GSK, which is why I went back. That's a really great question. And it's something that I think about day to day, actually, because it's something I tell other people and it's something that motivates me. Why am I here? Why am I doing clinical trials? What are my passions? And as you say, I'm really passionate about clinical trials and making medicines to help people. So working on COVID is, I don't want to say a dream come true, because obviously it's a pandemic, but it allows you to do really vital, valuable work. So I think that's a great aspect of what we do. And it's something that I hope I'll carry on doing in the future. Touching on my other interests, STEM is a really great um, passion of mine because it allows me to promote and raise awareness for the different opportunities that there are in the industry and really bring along the next generation of scientists whether they are lab-based scientists office-based or home-based as we all are at the moment um, it allows me to really promote those opportunities to the next generation similarly in my passion for clinical trial diversity i really want to improve awareness of what we do and encourage um, participants, whether they're healthy participants, patients, whatever age, stage, gender, etc., they are, to get involved in clinical trials because we really should be led by science rather than whoever is easiest to recruit, for example. So I guess my passions are all led by education and opportunity. That's where I am at the moment, and I hope that somehow I can combine all of them to continue developing medicines for people who really need them and making sure that people are aware of all the different opportunities there are to do this really exciting work. <laughs>